If you are making t-shirts for your next family reunion or vacation, you might be wondering how to size the design to fit a wide range of t-shirt sizes. Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. I teach crafters how to use your vinyl cutter to screen print shirts at home. Today, I wanna to answer a question I get asked frequently, and that is, how do you size your design when you're screen printing on all different size t-shirts? To show you my process, I have a variety of spring colors in my favorite Bella canvas style. These are all 3001 and 3001 CVC item numbers. I also have a few toddler size shirts. Bella canvas has over 150 color choices in this popular unisex fit. They also have over 300 color choices across all of their styles. This is great for finding the perfect color to coordinate with your design, or you can choose different colors for each person like I'm doing for this project. I have sizes ranging from 5T to 3XL here. Let's talk about how to screen print this design on all of these shirts. What makes screen printing an efficient process is that you can reuse the design on your screen to print multiple shirts. When I'm planning out a project with a variety of shirt sizes, I wanna figure out how to do this project in the fewest amount of screens as possible. The first thing you need to consider before choosing your design size is what screen and squeegee sizes you have to work with. I have a lot of these 10 by 14 frames, so I'm gonna use that for my toddler and onesie sizes. To make your design a bit larger for adult size shirts, I like to use this 16 by 20 inch frame. For most of the designs that I print, I have found that I can do all of the adult sizes with an eight to 10 inch wide design. This means small through three or four XL. It may seem unusual to use the same design for a small and a four XL shirt, but I have found that for a group photo, it looks better when the design is consistent on all of the adult size shirts. This is also helpful because I can print all of the adult sizes with just one piece of vinyl. For a horizontal design, you wanna maximize the width. I typically go about 10 inches wide, depending on the design, but for a vertical design, you might not wanna go quite that wide because your design will end up too tall on the shirt. I would scale this down to a height of around 10 inches. With a vertical design, I'm more concerned about the height than the width. For a circle or square design, you can definitely fill the shirt with a 10 by 10 size, but I think it looks nice scaled down a bit too. For the design I'm using today, I've scaled it to 10 inches wide, which makes it seven and a half inches tall. This is a bit big for a toddler shirt, so for youth and toddler sizes, I'm gonna duplicate the design and scale it down to six to eight inches. Since this design is horizontal, I'm gonna use the eight inches wide, which will be perfect for any youth or toddler sizes. If you need to make a onesie, I would duplicate this again and scale it down to around four inches wide. With the two pieces of vinyl cut, 10 inches and eight inches wide, I'm gonna be able to screen print a shirt for everyone in my family. The first step is attaching your vinyl design to the back of your screen printing frame. I'm using transfer tape and Oracle 651 vinyl for this. Next, we need to cover up the areas outside of my vinyl so ink doesn't go through here. I'm gonna use painter's tape for this. You'll notice in the vinyl I've cut a small circle. This will help me place the screen in the same spot on each shirt and ensure that the design is two inches down from the collar on each shirt. You can learn more about my dot trick and how I decide the spacing in my guide linked below. Using the dot to line up with the collar of my shirt, the only part I need to eyeball is the horizontal alignment of my shirt. I'm gonna eyeball until it looks straight and then I'm ready to start screen printing. Add your screen printing ink along the top and squeegee over. Once I lift the screen, I'm gonna quickly move this shirt out of the way and set up my next shirt. You wanna work quickly here so your ink doesn't dry out in your screen. With the next shirt on the table, I'm gonna use the dot again to line up my screen and print the next shirt. Once I finish the adult shirts, I'm gonna grab the screen with my smaller design attached and print any toddler or youth sizes. For these smaller size shirts, I want my design to land about an inch and a half down from the collar. So I've made that adjustment before cutting my vinyl. With all of the shirts finished, you can see that using the same size design for all of the adult shirts looks really nice. 
This will make for a great family photo opportunity. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media for more screen printing with vinyl tips and tricks.